Hi everyone, and welcome to another trick. In this trick, we're going to learn how to solve the thread one exc bad instruction problem, which where I'm just going to show you how it how you cause it right now. So I'm just going to create it a project, and I'm going to call it error, and I'm going to save it on my desktop. And then I'm gonna go to main.storyboard and put a label just right here. And I'm going to go to viewcontroller.swift, create an outlet for the label. And then I'm going to go back and link it up. And then here I'm going to create a variable called int, and I'm going to set it, and it's going to be an int with, it's going to be an optional int, so it doesn't need a value. Here I'm going to put int equals nil, and what happens in the thread one exe bad instruction is that it it unwraps an optional value in this case it's int int with a question mark which is the optional and int is one and it once I'm unwrapping it finds out that the value is nil and it's unexpected for the compiler or the debugging thing and then I'm going to put a label dot text equals in quotations backslash parentheses int and I'm gonna put um it's a force on a wrap and then if you run you're gonna get the thread one exe bad instruction error like you did right now as it says right here it says fatal error unexpectedly found nil while unwrapping an optional value. So this is an optional and it it it's unex it's expected to have it expects it to have a value except for it found nil which means n like null and it needs to have a value. So to fix this error, we're going to delete this line and we're going to say if if int equals nil so if if the int equals nil then we're going to get the error over here i'm going to type label um int we're just going to give int and value a value i'm just going to say 0 and then i'm going to say label dot text equals in quotations backslash parentheses int and then you can actually force unwrap it now if you run it says zero so what this is doing is if it if it, it is nil it's gonna give it a, an actual value and then putting it on the label so guys, thank you guys for watching and I hope you see in my other videos. Bye bye.